After a lifetime of outdoor photography and travel, I have always wanted to look back at those years and share some of the scenes, stories, and places I'll always remember. Photography of places I found not only in my backyard, but places all across America, as well as around the world. I like to think of it as a world of travel. I remember as a kid reading National Geographic's, never thinking that someday I would visit those places. I soon learned starting out that photography is more than just taking pictures. It's more complicated. It's capturing memories and feelings, and most of all, learning new things. Maybe it takes a poet to sort out all the subtle things of life, yet your mind has to fill in all the pieces. We'll spend some time traveling across the U.S., discovering things you never knew before, possibly. And then we'll travel overseas to several different countries. For instance, we'll visit New Guinea. Today, it's still one of the least explored places in the world. There are over 850 languages in this small country. We'll visit India and the sacred Ganges. Not only is this place home to 200 million cows, it has the world's largest religious gathering, where 60 million people attend at one time. It can even be seen from space. Israel is special, where you can walk the very footsteps where Jesus walked 2,000 years ago. Albert Einstein was once offered the presidency here. And for all of you who lick postage stamps, the glue is kosher. Not only will we see a world of travel, but with interludes of inspiring music, we'll visit places here in America I think you'll find interesting. Some are famous, others you never heard before. And even though they are places on the map, I like to think that you'll find them places of the heart. Join me as I personally narrate and share a lifetime of photography and memories. <laughs>